Hey everyone, so today for you I also have leak code question 142, which is the link list cycle 2. Now, if you haven't already watched my first video on the link list cycle 1, which is very similar, um, I'll leave a link in the description, you can go watch that, it'll probably help you out with this. Um, in this question, you're given a link list, and you're supposed to return the node where the cycle begins. So in the other one, you return if, whether or not there is a cycle. This one, you return where it begins. And if there is none, you return null. Um, so the naive solution is the same as the other one. You could create a hash set, keep adding everything to the hash set. Once you find a duplicate, then that's where it begins. Or you could make, do a little bit. You could also use the follower leader method, which uh, I kind of described previously. So I'll describe how you can use the follower leader method. So when the follower enters the cycle, it has gone k steps. So this is where the cycle begins. So it's gone k steps, which means the leader has gone k steps into the cycle because the leader has gone 2k steps, so it's gone k steps to get here, and then it's gone k steps into the cycle. Now the cycle, we'll call it length L. And so... Hang on, sorry, I just had a brain fart. So the leader, as we discussed earlier, once they're in the cycle, it gets one step closer to the follower every single interval it goes through. So it's going to take the leader the length of the cycle minus k steps to meet the follower. So now why is that? So the, the leader is k steps in here. And so basically the leader is the le leader has to go the length of the cycle minus K to get back to where it started to get back to the beginning of the cycle. And that's where the follower is. And the leader goes one step every single time. So that means it'll take the leader, the length of the cycle L minus K steps to meet the follower. So I'll say that one more time, just in case you missed it, because it's kind of it's kind of the most important part of understanding this problem. So the leader is k steps into the cycle when the follower gets here. This is where the follower is, and the leader's k steps in. So to get back to the so if the if the leader were also here, it would have to go the length of the cycle to get back. But it's already gone like maybe two steps. So then it would only have to go the length of the cycle minus two. Well, it's gone k steps. So it has to go the length of the cycle minus k steps to get back to the follower. And it, it gains it gains on by to yeah, it gains on the follower by one. So it gets one step closer every single iteration. So like every time the leader moves by two, it gains one on the follower, who only moves by one. So that means so since it'll take the follower, um, oops, since it'll take the leader, the length of the cycle minus k steps to meet the follower again, and the follower's already gone k steps. So that means the follower is also going to move the length of the cycle minus k steps. Um, the follower will have gone a total of k, the original k steps to get there, plus the length of cycle minus k, which is how many steps it's going to go before the follower catches up to it. That means the follower has gone the length of the cycle steps when they meet. And that means in k more steps, it'll be at the start of the cycle. Because if it's gone, if the length of the cycle is like 5, and it takes 2 steps to get to the beginning of the cycle, it will have gone uh, 5 steps when they meet. So it'll, gone like one, it'll have gone 5 steps when they meet. And it'll need two more steps to get back to where it is. That's I don't know why I use numbers, but it'll it'll take if it's gone the length of the cycle, it only needs to get k more steps to uh, get back to the beginning of the cycle. You can uh, if it goes k steps plus the length of the cycle, you can think about like k steps getting it to the beginning of the cycle, then the length of the cycle kind of getting it back. But the head is also k units away from the start of the cycle. So you can figure out where they meet 
and you then you can set another variable at head and then you can uh, you can keep moving them both by one every time and that's where they'll meet so just by looking at this we can know well I'll show you guys just to prove it but oops, where's follower so we know the follower and the leader I'm just gonna tell you they're gonna meet here and I'll show you guys so the follower will start here and the leader will also start here. So we're gonna move the follow we're gonna move the leader by two and the follower by one and we're gonna check if they're equal. And we're checking if the pointers are equal, not the values. The values are both the same one, but we're checking for the pointer. They're not equal, so we're gonna move the follower by one and the leader by two. And uh, so then we're going to move our follower by one and our leader by two. Ruh -ruh. So leader by one and then all the way back here. And then we're going to move our follower by one and our leader by two. So leader will come like here. Sorry, I'm like switching them. I don't want to let go of them and have to re like drag them over there. So our follower by one. And then our follower by one and our leader by two. So they do both end up here. How did I know that? Well, so once they both meet here, we know, so k is one. In this situation, it's one step. And l, one, the distance has to go from here to here, one, here to here, two here to here 3, here to here 4, and then back, so L is 5. So, the follower has gone K plus the length of cycle minus K. So it's gone the length of the cycle, so it should have gone 5. So I had 1, 2, 3, oops, 4, 5. So it has gone 5. So now what we can do is we can set our follower back to our head, And we can keep moving, saying follower equals follower dot next, leader equals leader dot next, until they're equal. So we'll say our follower equals our follower, or our leader equals leader dot next. So leader becomes here, and our follower becomes here. And then we can return this node when we're done. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you did not understand this, read it out a couple more times maybe draw an example and it should start to make sense now the solution is big o of n and it has also it has constant um storage space which is much better than the hash that solution that has linear space um i'll show you guys the leak or the code so it's kind of the same as last time um we check if our head is null. If it is, we turn null. So we have a fast and our slow. So we want to move our fast by two every time and our slow by one every time. And if they're the same, then we're done. So now we check if our fast is null or fast.next is null. This will kind of indicate that there is no cycle and that it just kind of ran out of space. Um, we'll never get a fast.next equals null or a fast equals null if it uh, is a cycle. Now what we do is we set our slow back to our head, which is kind of like, oops, kind of like what I did back here. I set the variable here back to here. And then we just keep moving everything by one until our slow and our fast are the same. So, and then we return that value. So I'll submit it just to, uh, and we got a hot diggity dog. Let's see how many people we beat. Okay, okay, we did pretty good. We beat all these people. Um, so yeah, uh, a lot of those people probably cheated and used the hash set. Let's see if they did. Okay, this person didn't cheat. Let's see what this person did. Let's see.
Okay, this guy did it recursively. Let's see what these bad boys did. Yeah, this guy used a set and it uh didn't it was very slow. Huh, I didn't think it would be that slow. Yeah, hash sets are slow, so a lot of people don't understand that, but you don't always want to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh let me know if you guys have any questions, any clarification or anything like that. And leave a comment if you liked it. Let me know what you want me to do better, what you liked, what you didn't like. If there's any problems in particular you want to see. Um, I'm kind of competitive, so I want to see what the acceptance rate was. Make me feel better about myself. There was a low acceptance rate, even though I didn't figure this one out on my own. 160 out of 533. 160 out of 533. Okay, 30% acceptance rate, so that's pretty good. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching.